lymphangioleomyomatosis. Lymphangioleomyomatosis. So what is it again? Lymphangi... Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> the lung disease I was diagnosed with is called lymphangioleomyomatosis or LAM. The lung condition um, actually is a proliferation of uh, lung tissue into abnormal smooth muscle cells. And uh, the smooth muscle cells can invade not just the lungs, but also the kidneys, livers, and in some cases they go into the entire lymphatic system. In the beginning uh, of my disease, which is actually um, more than uh, six years ago, um, I didn't have really any prevalent symptoms um, of the respiratory system. It was more uh, a problem I had in the abdominal area and they discovered a uh, lymphangioma in uh, my abdomen, which over time went away and uh, after I had initially experienced um, very fast weight loss, I had a lot of problems, I had fever, I was very sick, it went away and it never occurred to any of us that this could turn into something different. So uh, about the 3rd of January of uh, 2012, we got the diagnosis that it was LAM. Uh, we never heard of LAM. Uh, it was, once we started reading about it, quite, quite scary. Um, it's a disease that right now uh, really has no cure. Uh, the end game as far as the progression of the disease is uh, a lung transplant. Um, so. Uh, we found out that uh, there wasn't a lot of doctors that knew about it, so it, that's why it took so long to diagnose. Before I got diagnosed, um, you would rarely see me in a doctor's office, uh, but afterwards things uh, quickly changed. Um, since ever I was diagnosed with LAM, um, I had three hospital visits with two major lung surgeries um, to help adhere the lung uh, to the pleural cavity so that I don't suffer from uh, lung collapses anymore. I also have about like yeah, roughly about 10 visits to the urgent care or emergency care due to lung collapses, um, respiratory distress and uh, other symptoms I experienced so that I had to be rushed to urgent care. What's uh, been really inspirational to me is that she has kept going, she has kept training, she has kept writing. Uh, she hasn't given up, um, she's tackled each obstacle as it's come along and, and found a way around it or over it. Some of the changes Patricia's looking to make on the bike now are uh, actually riding with an oxygen tank. So we're looking at uh, how much an oxygen tank weighs, um, you know, what sizes they come in, what the lighter ones are, um, how we're going to how she's going to carry it actually, so how we're going to kind of set that up for her. So we're looking at uh, camel backs and things like that to be able to uh, carry that oxygen tank with. And um, I think uh, that'll probably help her stay on the bike uh, longer. She's going to keep going as long as she can and as strong as she can. Well, what Lamb taught me on the other side is to really always pursue the best in everything you do, uh, to go for things right now and right here uh, as long as you're able to. So I take uh, those moments differently. When I go into a race uh, now, I uh, consider this could be maybe the last race I'm doing that I'm capable of doing. So I give it my all, I give it my 100% or more. So that's the way how I started living and I also start living this way at work. I love my job and uh, I do the utmost to do the best in my job and my life and uh, pursue things in a little more intense way. My name is Patricia Ortiz and I love riding my bike around San Diego. <laughs>